Right, we're going to the continent, the European continent, Germany. So some things we're familiar with there. Bayern Munich absolutely bossing it at the top. So we presume Borussia Dortmund are going to be hovering just underneath. They're not. I think they're in 15th out of 18th spot. We're, just shortly we're going to talk to Archie Reintart, who's a Bundesliga expert. But just what are your initial thoughts on that? Are you shocked by that? You should be. Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> they're, they're, you know, they, they won the Bundesliga a couple of years in a row before Bayern's latest sort of run of dom dominance. They're always you know, pushing Bayern close, or maybe not so much the last year or two, but they've always been finishing second. And now they're toying with the relegation places. I think they've lost six out of their last eight. Just stinking the place out. Just Absolutely stinking it stinking, out. Stinking the place out is our, is our statement on this. Now we're now going to go to Archie Reintart, who is a BT um, reporter for the European football show there. A great job he does indeed. Archie, are you there? Are you there, Archie? Just about, just about. Just oh, good. I can see your lovely smile, so that's, that's put me up already. We're talking about Borussia Dortmund, of course. An awful run of form. I think they've lost the last four in a row. What do you put that down to? Well, this is the thing with Borussia Dortmund's form. It, it, it would be very handy if we could find one big reason which is behind it. But as with so many footballing quandaries, there isn't really. I mean, you've got to take into account the fact that Quite a few of their players came back late from World Cup duty. Marco Royce obviously missed the World Cup through injury and has been rehabilitating. He, he got an injury earlier on in the season. That's not helped them at all. But also, I think you have to look at the fact that they weren't able to perhaps train their, their pressing sequences, as, as one of my friends out in Dortmund told me. They usually place a lot of emphasis on that. But I think you also have to accept the point that if you look in Europe, the results that they've been getting... They're playing against sides who don't exactly know the Borussia Dortmund way inside out, whereas in the Bundesliga, they have been worked out to an extent. Borussia Dortmund really do not like it when their opposition sits deep, and that way they have to really break them down, and teams have caught them on the counter. And is, there, is there any kind of backlash from the fans? What, any, any doubts about Klopp whatsoever, or are they fully behind them? I know they have massively positive support there normally. Yeah, the fans are still very much behind Jurgen Klopp because he has achieved so much with the club, obviously bringing them from a stage where in 2005, which was three years before Jurgen Klopp arrived, Borussia Dortmund were minutes, yet even hours away from going bust. And I think there is still a very realisation of where the club has come from since then. But also interesting to see, I mean, look, in the press every week we see how Borussia Dortmund fans are lauded and particularly after their defeat against Hamburg at home in Hanover. The such of you know, the yellow wall, still reacting very well, still applauding the players, but it's a little bit of an awkward situation because all the players are very sheepish when, when this is all happening. And um, in, term, in terms of the players, I think you mentioned him there, Kagawa, sort of returning hero. How's, how's he performed in general? He's, he, he's performed all right. I mean, it's difficult because he doesn't quite have the, the forwards that, that have really combined with him so well in his first spells at the club. Um, but it hasn't really been about Kagawa too much. In fact, Kagawa already, in his second spell at Dortmund, he only lost five or six Bundesliga games in his first two seasons there. I think he's already equaled that in his return to the club. So it hasn't been too good, but that's been really that much focus on Kagawa. He did score on his Bundesliga debut back against Freiburg, but otherwise... We haven't really seen too much for him. Yeah, he still still needs to come good, much like a lot a lot of the team. But generally, I mean, I've seen little bits and little bits and pieces. It just seems generally they've been a little bit unfortunate and in individual errors. Next week, um, they've got the sort of plucky minnows by Munich to play. Um, could this be a blessing in disguise for Dortmund to actually play a team of an, an exceptional standard? Maybe they'll rise to that occasion. I I I agree with that line of thinking because if you look at their previous encounters with Bayern, they've all been very close. There's been no game where either side has really, really taken it away from the other. Bar for, for me, the the FB Pokal final of 2012, when Dortmund absolutely smashed Bayern by five goals to two. But apart from that, they've usually been very close encounters, which have been usually settled in the second half. So I think it. It will probably galvanise the side to an extent, but that said, I really wouldn't want to play Bayern Munich coming off a bad result in the Bundesliga. And this weekend, a nil-nil draw against Gladbach. They weren't at their best. Gladbach did very well to stifle them. 
So it's not exactly an ideal situation when playing Bayern in, in, that, in that sort of arena either. Excellent. Thank you, Archie. We'll leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for giving us a total lowdown there on the Bundesliga and Dortmund. We'll speak to you again soon. Cheers, Ben. Thanks. So, take care. There we go. Borussia Dortmund, what do you, what do you think? Are, we, are they going to level back up to third, fourth, fifth? Surely it's just, just a matter of time. I mean, it, <clears throat> sorry, it is, it is early days, but I think as Archie said there, it's, I don't think it's any coincidence that they seem to be having no problem in the, in the Champions League at all. And they beat Galatasaray 4-0 away, but they're having some real issues in the Bundesliga. Sort of their, their intense pressing style and counter-attacking, it's been doing it for a few years now, and I think a lot of teams have worked it out and realised that if you sit deep, that really nullifies that threat. And I don't know if it's a case of if they're going to have to come up with something new, some fresh ideas, or what it's going to be, because something's got to change in their league form. Whereas I think in the Champions League, they've, it's sort of welcome relief for them at the moment. Thank <laughs> you.